Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to configure Postgres SQL in your Mac. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's open a terminal. I'm going to install by brew command. If you don't know how to configure brew, there is another video on my channel to do that. So I, I have a brew version is 2.2.5 currently. So what I have to do is like the brew install Postgres. It's nicely downloading everything what I need for Postgres. Okay, so it looks like that's done. So this is a command to start the Postgres. I'll put that on the description. All the commands, as always I do. So there's an initialization, you have to do it for the Postgres. Hmm, that's strange. So I did Postgres sometime back and looks like you know that folder was not empty. So what I had to do is, I had to think about removing that. So there's a command. So if you're installing first time, you won't see this issue. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. So I'm trying to create a database, but it looks like you know, it's not completely started. It no such file or directory. So basically, is the server, there's a question, is the server is really running it? So if you see my previous command, it says database system is shut down, but I can start the command by pgctl command. So I started the database right now. I'm going to execute the create db one more time. See, okay. Now I'm going to show a GUI, graphical user interface called db, db war. This is what I use personally on my machines. Um, can download it on online so I'll quickly show you how to configure that as well on this same video okay installed it so I'm going to open it it's called db world So you can search Postgres or MySQL, whatever the comma when you want it. Okay. So you need to add some plugins specifically for Postgres on dbweaver. Downloading that, install it. Um, so basically, I have to create a user. So there is a command to create the user. It is this. So I'm doing the username as Postgres and the password is also same. Enter the password again. Do you want to be a super user? Yes. So I created a new user. Now let's go back to the dbweaver again. Edit the connection with the username and password, Postgres and Postgres. Okay, so if you see that there is a uh, Database is created with um, Postgres tests, which I already did on the command line. Now I want to create an application schema. So right now there is a default schema will come as called as public. So you can open a new editor on the dbweaver and execute the command create schema application schema. So I'm going to create a schema called application schema. So now let's go back here, refresh the page you'll see an application schema. So application schema is also will have the same as it is, but there's no table I've been created. So I'm going to create a table. I created a table called user tab. All the, all, the, all the way in the top, you'll see user tab. And I'm going to add a columns up here with ID. I'm going to make that as a serial type. 
that's why it's auto increment so and i can make it as a not null so there are a bunch of options you can see about it and you can read through what it is and you know why whether you need all those things i'm going to add one more column it's called name I'm going to put that as a where cache see the same options i'm going to put like length this like maybe some number 50 and uh, yeah let's make that as also normal okay so that's created the table i'm going to save that you can copy the script and you know just do the same thing also if you have a script you don't have to use the UA to do it, you can directly execute the script on the editor. So I'm going to refresh the page. I'll see the table. There's a table called user tab. So I see that there's no data has been inserted it. So I'm going to insert some data into that. Let me just generate the SQL scripts. So I'm going to insert a bunch of records. You may be already noticed that I'm inserting only the name that uh, we specified the ID is an auto increment. So let's select the tables. You'll see all the records I inserted. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.